Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing my Cliff Notes version of North Carolina Driver's Handbook to help you pass your driver's test. I already have my license in Pennsylvania, but I just moved here and you need to take the test again. I've highlighted the stuff that I feel is most important and I'm just going to go over everything to help me out. And I decided to post it publicly so you guys can get helped out, so you guys can be helped out as well. Okay, alcohol in the law. The risk of being involved in a crash increases when the alcohol level is 0.05%. In North Carolina, if your blood alcohol concentration test shows a BAC of 0.08 or more, your driving privileges will be revoked immediately for a minimum of 30 days. If you're under the age of 21, you have to have zero amount of alcohol in your system, obviously. So drowsy driving, break every two hours or every 100 miles, drink a caffeinated beverage and wait about 30 minutes. Caffeine will help keep you awake but not always alert. Dealing with cell phones. It is unlawful to use a telephone or email, use a telephone for email or text messages and you must use your phone, if you must use your phone, do so at a safe time and place and drivers less than 18 are not permitted to use a telephone unless emergency. Seatbelts, all people must be fa fastened in a seatbelt properly. Child safety seats. Drivers transporting one or more passengers younger than 16 years of age must make sure that each passenger under age 16 is properly secured in a child passenger restraint system or a seatbelt which meets federal law a child under age 8 and weighing less than 80 pounds must be properly secured in a weight-appropriate child passenger restraint system. Children ages 12 and under should, should ride buckled up in a rear seat. Infants in rear-facing child seats should never ride in the front seat, obviously. Okay. Law on transporting children in the back of a pickup truck. Children less than 16 are not allowed to ride in the open bed of a trip pickup truck. If an adult is present in the bed or cargo area and is supervising the child, then that's all right. If the child is secured or restrained by a seatbelt manufactured in compliance with federal motor vehicle safety, then that is also okay. Or obviously if an emergency situation exists or it's being operated in a parade or if the vehicle is being operated in an agricultural enterprise. General driving, obviously, you're always supposed to yield to the right-of-way of pedestrians. Okay, school buses. The maximum speed limit for a school bus is 45 miles per hour. When a school bus displays its mechanical stop signal or flashing red lights, um, the driver of any other vehicle approaching the school bus must stop, obviously, and do not, pass, do not attempt to pass the school bus until the stop signal is withdrawn, the flash, flashing red lights are turned off, and the bus has started to move. I'm going to be showing you some pictures. Okay, so in a two-lane road, roadway, here's a school bus. Both people need to stop. In a two-lane roadway with a center turning lane, all must stop. In a four-lane roadway, Without a median separation, obviously there's just two yellow lines, all four cars must stop. Okay. Divided highway of four lanes or more with a median separation, just these two cars need to stop, not these two. Roadway of four lanes or more with a center turning lane, only these two cars must stop, not these. Emergency and law enforcement vehicles. Um, obviously, whenever there's flashing red lights, sirens, they always have the right of way. And if you're being approached by an emergency vehicle, drive to the right hand curb or edge of the road and stop completely. Remain stopped until the emergency vehicle is passed or directed by a traffic officer. 
Do not park within 100 feet of an emergency vehicle that has stopped. Do not drive or park closer than one block from fire trucks responding to a fire alarm. When approaching an authorized emergency vehicle like police, fire department, or a disabled vehicle um, that is parked or standing within 12 feet of the roadway or warning lights activated, a driver is required to do the following. On a highway with at least two lanes of traffic in the same direction, you are to move your vehicle into the lane that is not the lane nearest the parked or standing emergency vehicle and continue traveling in that lane until safely clear of the vehicle. When stopped by law enforcement, obviously always pull to the right, remain seated, put your car in park, turn the vehicle off, and if it's at night, the vehicle's interior lights should be on. And during the day, activate the vehicle's hazard lights or emergency flashers. That's for both day and night. Okay. Farm machinery operators use hand signals to warn other drivers when they are turning or stopping. It is illegal to pass farm equipment in a no passing zone. Farm equipment is required to have one front white light as a rear red light as well as a rear red light that is visible up to 500 feet. Two red reflectors that are at least four inches in diameter can replace that. Funeral processions. Every vehicle in a funeral procession must have its heads lights on. Hazard warning signals may also be on. All vehicles in the funeral procession may proceed through the intersection without stopping while using extra care towards other vehicles the drivers of a vehicle traveling in the same direction as a funeral procession shall not attempt to pass the funeral procession. Driving on your side of the road. When you are moving slower than the posted speed limit on a multi-lane highway, drive in the extreme right lane unless you are passing, turning left, or avoiding an obstruction. Stopping distances are longer at higher speeds because a vehicle travels farther during the driver's reaction time, obviously. So, for example, if you're dra traveling 55 miles per hour, your vehicle requires 211 feet to stop completely. Okay. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limits in cities and towns is 35, for school buses, 45, for school activity buses, 55, outside cities and towns, 55, and for interstates, 70. Gradually, okay, for rounding a curve, obviously, gradually increase your speed to maintain the transaction, or to maintain the traction necessary for good control of your vehicle as you round the curve. Um, turning, for right turns, stay close to the right edge of the road. Do not turn from or enter 